What is going on guys, Nefi3, you're doing another video, and welcome back to an episode of Umineko When They Cry. Last time we left off, and it has been a little while since I played this morning, uh, Maria was given a letter by Beatrice that apparently says that they all must solve the riddle of the epitaph to find the gold, otherwise Beatrice would claim it all. Now, a couple other interesting things happened, I mean, Rudolph flat out said that he might die tonight, Jessica tried to help her mom, who apparently learned that Krauss found a gold bar and confirmed that the fortune does exist, and I hope I didn't get any of that wrong. It definitely has been, like, two weeks or three weeks since I've played this. So, yeah, let's get into this. Oh, yeah, remember when it was sunny? George and Nikki and I were killing time in front of the polar television. At that point, Jessica returned. Her face was still blank, but it looked like she'd calmed down a little since we'd last seen her. Maria was Looking at the clock, I saw it was a little past 10 p.m. Even if we were planning to stay up all night, it was about time to head back to her room. うちの袋が屋敷にも部屋を用意してくれたんだけどよ。どうする僕はゲストハウスに戻りたいかな。親たちの様子を見る限り、僕たちは親敷にいない方がいいと思う。いや、ね、it's probably the best course of action. As we're talking about this, she was looking all over restlessly, probably trying to find Maria. Rosa, oh, no, she's going to hit her because she's asleep on the sofa. <笑>すっかり眠っちゃってるわね。ベッドに移さないと。よかったら僕がベッドまで背負っていきましょうか。ありがとう。助かるわ。ジョージ君たちはゲストハウスに戻るの? それとも夏日姉さんが用意してくれた部屋に泊まるのかしら。I feel like it would be rude to just go back to the guest house, but whatever. 今話し合ってました。ゲストハウスへ戻ろうかって話になったところです。そう。ならマリアも一緒にしてあげてもいいかしら。いとこのみんなと一緒の方が。Yeah, no, we're the protagonists. Nothing bad can happen to her when she is with the protagonists. Ha 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 ha, hey grassy vibes. Behind those words, she seemed to be concealing some regret that the adults, herself included, had deeply hurt Maria's feelings. Don't worry, Maria, I believe in the West End of Bitch Triss. I was trying to make a joke on that, but <laughs> that did not work. So, is that my fault? It's not just me, it's not just me, it's just me. Is, isn't this gonna look really suspicious if, the, if you're like, carrying her out of the out of the house into the rain? <laughs> As we said this, Aunt Rosa smiled, looking truly happy. Yet yeah, no, that's not what happened. She got really pissed. みんな、私たちの話し合いはだいぶ遅くまでかかりそう。だから申し訳ないけど。Maria muttered something indistinct, rolled over, and fell back asleep. It looked like she was sleeping deeply. Oh my god, it's gonna look like you're carrying a dead body. <laughs> Everyone's just like, what's happening? Maria's body was much lighter than it looked. I lifted her up and put her on George and Nikki's back. It was raining hard outside and Nikki couldn't ha hold an umbrella and carry Maria at the same time. It looked like Aunt Rosa would come with us as far as the guest house to help out. However, when she heard Uncle Krause's voice call out to her, she had no choice but to return. <sighs> After we left the hall on the way to the entrance, the door to the servant room opened and Sansan stepped out. 
私がご案内させていただきますちょうどよかったわシャノンちゃんジョージ君がマリアをおぶっていてくれるの傘をさしてあげてくれないかしらはいかしこまりましたシャンシャンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウンブラウン I don't like how she's saying that. Okay, yeah, no, she's definitely dying. You don't just say stuff like this. So, I'm going to go to the next one. Hey, you're going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. Rose's mumbling voice didn't reach the person in question, nor any of the kids who disappeared beneath the sound of the rain. Please don't make me sit through another one of their arguments. I'd rather just see what happens at the guest house. <laughs> After cutting through the rainy rose garden, we arrived at the guest house. Oh my God. <laughs> そうしないとジョージ様が濡れてしまうと思いましてほーらバカなこと言ってないで入るぜ After being urged on by Jessica we folded up our umbrellas and went into the guest house お召し物を濡らしてしまった方はいらっしゃいタオルを用意いたしますがそこまで気を使わなくていいぜありがとうよシャノンちゃんそうだ僕たちはこれからトランプでもして少し遊ばないかって話なんだけどよかったあれ今日のシフト深夜勤は誰になってんだ親族会議中は特別シフトになってたと思いました少し変更も出てるみたいなのでちょっと確認してきますああわざわざ屋敷に戻らないとわからないんなら無理にあ大丈夫ですゲストハウスの使用人室でわかりますのでちょっと失礼しますねシャンシャン gave a quick bow and went into the guest house servant room the rest of us headed for the cousin's room and decided to put Maria to the bed for the time being Maria was sleeping very deeply and there was absolutely no sign of her eyes opening for now we get some soft drinks out of the room's refrigerator and drink those while playing cards or something Is Grandma gonna get run over by a reindeer? We're playing codes with Cousin Mel, in this case, Cousin Jessica and George, but whatever, it was a bad joke. Oh no, are you here to talk about Oyasio Sama? Oh, I mean Beatrice. Hmm. 私とクマサワはゲストハウスに泊まるようにとのご命令だお前も今夜はこのままこちらにとどまるようにたった今電話があったえずずいぶん大掛かりな変更ですねお屋敷とゲストハウスの当番がまるっきり逆になってるじゃないですか Originally, Sam and Ken had been assigned to the night shift in the mansion, or the night shift in the guest house, where all of the relatives were staying had been assigned to Goda, who had an abundance of experience in entertaining. Kumasawa should have been sleeping at the guest house, while Gainsey could have been sleeping in the mansion. However, it seemed that Kraus had suddenly ordered that the schedule be modified. Hmm, kinda sus. The shifts at the guest house and the mansion all had been reversed, and Gainsey was spending the night in the guest house. <laughs> ベアトリーチ様の手紙のせいだろうね。多分ってどうして？あんな怪しげな手紙が現れたら、クラウス様が僕たちを疑うのは当然だからね。親方様直属の僕たちを極力親族会議の席から遠ざけたかったんだろうよ。Genji, Sana, and Ken were all permitted to wear the Yoshima family crest, the one-winged eagle, as the servants who served directly under Kinzo. 
of course, since they were working for the Yoshima family, they had to obey anyone's orders, but their only boss was Kenzo. Since only Kenzo had the right to employ them, even Kraus could not have to have them dismiss that to his own accord. Because of this, Kraus and the others often viewed these servants as Kinzo's underlings and sunned them. In fact, Kinzo seldom let out anyone other than them enter his study. This sudden shift change was probably a clear expression of the sense of mistrust that it caused. Considering the time Kinzo had left to live, this would definitely be the last family conference before the problem of the inheritance came up. It already has. <laughs> On top of that, the mysterious letter that claimed to be Beatrice's had dropped in and out of the blue. Kraus definitely wanted to keep Kinzo's loyal subjects away from the table of such delicate and important discussion. Special。はい。Okay, that that intrigued me. Okay, Genji now went behind a screen, took off his jacket, so he began to relax after a day's with attention. うん。親族の方々はお屋敷で会議を多分ね。ゲストハウス行きになってちょっと嬉しかった。かな。どうしてだい。意地悪な奥様や絵馬様から離れられたから、それとも別の理由があるのかい？別の理由なんかありません。そっか。なら二人で新約金を頑張ろう。よろしく、姉さん。あ、私ついさっきお子様方に。what a strange request. Sam <laughs> and hung her head apologetically, gazing at Cannon uncertainly. Cannon didn't try to meet her eyes and spoke curtly as he said. It looked like he didn't plan on indulging his sister. No. No, you're playing cards. Senin's shoulders drooped slightly. She had already expected that Kenan, a sticker, stickler for rules, would say something like that, but she seemed a little discouraged. As Kenan flipped through a logbook, he spoke without facing Senin. Senin hurriedly stood from her seat before her brother's mood curtains and flew out the servant's room after giving a quick bow. As he watched her go, Cannon took a single deep breath. Genji's voice came from beyond the screen. Kano, I am here. Genji-sama,誘われたのはシャノンだけです。僕は別に誘われては。その場にいなかったから、お声をかけ言えばお前も誘われている。たまには子供らしく遊んでくるといい。いえ、僕には必要ない行為です。人の子には遊びも必要でしょうが、僕らはそうか。姉さんだって核です。人のふりをしたって、後で苦しむだけなのに、僕はそれが分かっているから、人に近づきたくないだけなんです。Everyone is furniture. Genji not say anything after that. After a while, we stood up and used the pot of hot water to make powder coke us. Coca? What? I, why did I butcher that? Serving cocoa. Serving some to Ken as well. That was... Why did I butcher such a simple word? I wonder. Battle was so surprised that he yelled obnoxiously and, scra and scattered his cards everywhere. His voice caused Maria to turn over once, but she soon fell back into a deep sleep. Jessica gave him a jab and lowered his voice. Oh, 
ジョージの兄貴がなジョージ couldn't be seen anywhere in the room あおおお、is it time? Is it time for the scene that we all know is gonna happen? <laughs> oh my god. Sin <laughs> and Sensi would guide him just like she had on the way to the guest house, and the two of them departed together. Yeah, Mukashkara Sorepoi Kaiwa シャノンちゃんにやたらと優しかった気がするぜなるほどな Yes, now let's see what they're up to Ah yes, romantic atmosphere This isn't walking back home at all, so it's... Thank you, Honey, or to... Konya ga ichiban hidoi mita. Asu ippai mo yamanai ra shi kedo... Mo skoshi mashi ni naru so da yo. So desu ka. Dewa... Asatte ma dewa... Fune wa korare nai ka mo shire masen ne. Joji sama no getsuyobi no otsutome ni sashitsukai ga denai ka shinpai desu. Taifun ga kite iru koto wa shitte ita kara ne. Man ichi ni sonai te... 月曜日には予定を入れなかったから大丈夫さこう見えてもスケジュールは先読みできるタイプなんだジョージパッドアウトはチェスト・アクティング・プラウドコンペイトゥ・コンペイトゥ・コンペイトゥ・コンペイトゥ・コンペイトゥ・コンペイトゥ・コンペイトゥ・コンペイトゥ・コンペイトゥ・コンペイトゥ・コンペイトゥ・コンペイトゥ・コンペイトゥ・コンペイトゥ・コンペイトゥ・コンペイトゥ・コンペイトゥ・コンペイトゥ・コンペイトゥ・コンペイトゥ・コンペイトゥ・お金とかそういうのだけじゃないものがと父さんのところで勉強していてわかるよ会社を起こすということは城を持ち部下を率いるということうちの父さんは秀吉って名前だけあって戦国武将のエピソードがとても好きでね会社経営の哲学をよくそこから語るんだ知ってるかい戦国最強の騎馬軍団と恐れられた武田信玄も最初は部下たちの結束が生まれて闘争力をまるで発揮できなかったんだそうだよそうなんですかなんだか意外ですね信玄は部下たちを結束させるため例えば戦場で武功を立てた部下に対し普通こういうのは戦が終わってからまとめてやるものだからねそれを戦場の本陣の中にいながら豆部下の武功を素早く評価しやる気につなげたというのは非常に大きいことだよそれから部下が病気で伏せった時には誰よりも早く駆けつけ武田信玄は戦国最強の騎馬軍団を率いただけじゃない戦国一の部下思いの人だったんだよそんな方だから部下の皆さんもついてきてくれたんですね The truth was, Sin had already heard the story several years ago. But whenever discussing his father led to this sort of topic, George would always glow and look like he was having a great time. So Sin had just smiled without interrupting, urging him to continue. Tashkani, Shihon Shugi no Sekai dewa, Okane wa chikara de, Ishigaki no Takasa de maru. Demone, Iksa mo shiro mo, Jibun hitori ja nari tatanai, Oze no buka ni sasae rare, Sono chikara o karite, Hajime te se ditsu suru mono nanda yo. それを理解してから父さんの背中を見ると自分がいかに未熟で父さんがどれほどの切磋琢磨をして今日を築き上げてきたかがよくわかるジョージ様はお父様のことをとても尊敬されている羨ましいですああごめん別にそういう意味で言ったんじゃないんだよすすみません私も別にそういう意味で言ったつもりは The two of them awkwardly looked at their feet. Weird. Sin and no parents. She had been brought up in an orphanage owned by Kenzo called the Funikin House. Under the guidance of Kenzo, the honorary director, the orphanage offered members who excelled at science for、uh, on the job serving experience. That, 
That's kind of horrible. And their efforts met with Kinja's approval, they'd be able to leave the orphanage and work as servants for the Yoshima family. This was considered to be the highest of honor for those who lived in the orphanage. Servants from the Funikin house all took names with the character on them while they served. So your name was just San. Same one for canon. All of the members of the Funikin house were orphans. At least they were all people who had been separated from their parents under special circumstances. Because of this, the orphans had been taught to think of each other as their own family. That's why it seems so natural for both of them when Cannon called San and his sister. And while both San and Cannon were working in the mansion today, there were several other servants possessing the character in their names, such as Manon and Lennon, who often worked in a rotating schedule. However, there were not many servants who stayed with the Yoshima family for long. It was then for them to quit after three years, so you could probably say that Sanin, who had been working for ten years, was a notable exception to the rule. Working as a servant for the Yoshima family was a heavy burden to bear, but the pay wasn't bad at all. Working for a full three years would earn more than what was needed to enter the mainstream society. That's why, even though the orphans realized what a hearse task working for the Yoshima family was, they still hoped to be accepted. Maybe the fact that Sanin managed to continue working for 10 years wasn't because he had more willpower than the other servants. Maybe Sid Garn stuck working for 10 years because he didn't have the courage to say he wanted to quit. Kinzo couldn't even trust his own blood relatives, and those excellent servants sent from the Funken house were the only ones he could rely on. Because of that, Kinzo would, will, would sometimes allow them to wear the family crest as servants under his direct control and have them work close to him. えっと、その、もう勤めて10年近くになるんだっけ。だいぶお金も貯まったんじゃないかい。どうでしょう。別に私、解体物も特にありません。本の何百万かあったって、それで残りの人生を過ごせるわけもありませんし。目標の額なん
じゃあ命令だよえっとかしこまりましたジョージさん As Sanon hung her head, her face red, she said George's name again, this time falling it with San. George smiled at Sanon, no, Sayo, to praise her small act of bravery. The sort of stains alone made it clear how far back the relationship must have stretched. For a long while, the two talked as if weather raging about them didn't have even entered their thoughts.、Uh, why am I butchering the reading? They talked about the many memories they built during their relationship that no one else knew about. Every once in a while, a flash of lightning would attempt to interrupt them, but this could, could sully neither the roses nor the time they spent blessing at each other. Is that the end of the scene? Where's the. Oh, I thought the glass was going to be. Oh, I thought the glass was Miss Taimono got the not a shock. George, who had been speaking eloquently, suddenly started to stutter. Watching him, Sandon seemed to guess something. George timidly searched through his pocket. Something got caught in the depths of his pocket, and just like the stuttering George, it took a little while to get out. It was a very small box. Small box. Oh my god, is he actually gonna do it? That peculiar shape was enough to tell anyone what was resting inside. Sin had prepared her heart somewhat certain beforehand that, that this was what he'd been planning. But even so, when she actually saw it, she couldn't avoid blessing once more. George opened the small box, took something out, and held it for Sin to take. Oh my god, guys, it's actually happening. It's an order. Someone laughed at that because that's kind of. Thinking about that is not. It kinda says something about George's character. <sighs> Sin, and not wanting to show a bright red face, timidly accepted the ring from George's hand while still staring at the ground. The ring wasn't a simple accessory. It was a noble object meant to meant since ancient times to be offered to a special woman under special circumstances. Therefore, while George could order her to take it, he could not order anything beyond that. Okay, good. At least they mentioned that. Anything beyond that would depend on an order, but on Sanon's, no, Sayo's own will. Okay, yeah, okay. I, I withdraw the previous statement. It, it's been fixed. <laughs> もうこんな時間だね。今夜はこれくらいにしよう。ジョージ、ターンアウェイフロムセンアクティングジャストアビットボーイ。君に左手につけてほしいと命令することもできるかもしれない。君も命令されれば、それに従えるという臆病な甘
This is too much tension. Santa nodded back. Today was the accumulation of their many days spent together. This moment certainly hadn't come as a surprise to Santa. Yeah, honestly, probably so. Yeah, honestly, probably so. あ。えっと。すみません。私そのお屋敷に用を覚え出しまして。その。お屋敷へ行かねばなりません。こんな時間に。本当かな。George stared into Santa's face as he laughed mischievously. Ah. He definitely saw th saw through Santa's lie. However, when he saw how she felt, he could sort of understand that she might be so embarrassed that she'd want to be alone. So because George realized the meaning behind Santa's lie, he accepted it. Yup, there's the glass break. Hooray! And how long have I been recording for is the question. 30 minutes only. Wow. Okay. I thought I was about to call that an episode, but no. <laughs> Santa entered the entrance hall to the mansion with a tottering gate. A mixture of ex exhalation and uncertain gave her a feeling that she couldn't easily describe. It sort up in her chest until a felt like she was about to burst. After stopping for a second in front of the servants' room to take a deep breath and calm her heart, she opened the door. Inside, Gota, who had been ordered to take the midnight shift at the mansion tonight, was absorbed in a well-worn-out crossword puzzle magazine. He looked up for an instant to see if one of the family had come, but when he realized it was a fellow servant, he returned to his puzzles as if nothing had happened. あの、現地様より郷田さんのお手伝いにつくように言われてまいりました。ああ、そうですか。それは助かります。そろそろ戸締まりの見回りに行きたかったのですが。ここを開けてもいいものか困っていたのです。何しろ、旦那様方の会合はまだだいぶ続きそうですからね。いつ何時お茶のご用命があるかもわかりませんし。そうですよね。では、どうしましょうか。私がルスバを。では、シャノンさ
is Agent Beatrice by any chance. However, a certain unnerving memory was, was resurrected in the back of her mind. It was the ghost story which had been passed down amongst the servants who served the Yosima head family. The mansion had two different masters, one of the day and one of the night. Beatrice, the master of the night, would send him to fly around the mansion and form his book. That's where I thought I remember that. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure she said that in the other episode at the beats. Come to think of it, didn't Kanakun say he'd seen it with his own eyes? Though he'd got sulky when he, I s said he must have imagined it and refused to believe it. Could it possibly be true? The Ruler of Thunder gave no answer. Maria goes back into the rain. I must find the Rose. Seriously, there was a sunny day here a couple episodes ago, and it's the same day. I, I promise that. It's Beatrice. Let me guess, jump scare or something? Something's gonna happen. Okay, it's getting closer. I don't like this. Don't give me an eye zoom and that'd be so scary. Oh, back to the pleasant conversation. Ah, yes, this is going very well. Everyone has excited faces. Sanin is scared. Goda doesn't give a frick about anything. Cannon is bored. Genji is also bored out of their minds. Kumasawa is vibing. Nanja is probably asleep. George is very happy. Battler and Jessica are very happy. And Maria is asleep. Oh, we don't get to see her. Not just Kinzo. Oh, Kinzo's probably asleep too. What's gonna happen to this painting? Sui something. Sui, it's good. Oh, achievement unlocked. 24. Oh, 24 hours. I have officially spent 24 hours on Rokenzi. Not clickbait. I survived. Okay, I know today's episode is a bit short, but I am going to cut that there since that seems like a pretty good place to leave off. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye. Ooh, the second day. I wonder what will happen.